And welcome back to A Spirit of Debate. Well, uh, today pro-life activists went to the office of Philadelphia examiner, medical examiner Dr. Sam Galino um, this morning to pray for victims of abortionist uh, Kermit Gosnell. And our Molly Henneberg is live in Philadelphia with more on the situation down there. Molly? Yeah, they were locked out today. This coalition of pro-life groups that are trying to get answers about whether they can take possession of the bodies of 45 babies aborted at Dr. Kermit Gosnell's abortion clinic. They want to, this group wants to hold a funeral and a burial for them. You may remember Gosnell was convicted of murdering babies who survived abortions at his clinic. Uh, that, so this morning, this group held a prayer service, and then they tried to deliver a letter to the medical examiner asking where the bodies are, what the plan is for them, and if they could take possession of those that were unclaimed, these bodies, most of whom were aborted in the second or third trimester, according to the grand jury report. Abortion has dishonored them. We want to honor them. Abortion has treated them as garbage. We want to treat them with the reverence due to human beings. Let not these children be brutalized again. Let not these children suffer the barbarism again by the city of Philadelphia. When they came to deliver the letter, though, the doors were locked, and later the police came. Leaders of this group were told that no one would meet with them and that there was, in fact, a plan by the medical examiner's office for the baby's bodies, but they were not provided with the information on what that plan was. The medical examiner's office told Fox in a statement, quote, the city of Philadelphia has received multiple requests for third-party organizations to claim the remains from the Women's Medical Society case. That's the Gosnell case. The city has determined that these remains will not be released to any unrelated third party. The remains will be given a proper and respectful disposition by the city in accordance with our standard practices. And what that usually means is cremation and burial, according to published reports. Now, Father Pavone, who's still trying to meet with Dr. Gosnell in prison, he has a, a request out for that, says if that happens, if the bodies are cremated and, and put in a burial plot, then this pro-life group intends to find out where that location is and hold a funeral there on that site. Harris? Uh, it's uh, it's Lauren uh, uh, Molly. Um, I'm just wondering um, how many other groups you mentioned. Other groups have actually requested the the remains of the aborted fetuses and and babies. How many other groups have have requested um, that? Well, we're told by the medical medical examiner's office that there have been multiple requests. We're not sure how many groups or what groups have requested them, but there are a number of organizations that were really touched by this case, by the Kermit Gosnell case and don't want these unclaimed bodies just not being given a, pro a proper burial. And so there are probably several organizations, religious and otherwise, that have tried to take possession of them. All right. I want to thank you very much. Molly Hedden, reporting live in Philadelphia. Thank you so Thanks, much. Lauren.